Hi friends, welcome to Victor's Reality. In today's video, I'll be reviewing and unboxing the Razer Vespola version 2 and comparing it to my version 1. Let's begin. Okay, so this is the Vespola 2, this is the Vespola 1, and this is on the traction, total control side. This one also has a cloth side, which you can see right here. Very smooth, very nice. I'm surprised with the quality of the... I thought it was going to be a cheaper... It's just like a very thin cloth, but it's really nice. I like that. And then my Vespola 1 also has... The speed control, now you can see I've been using the speed control for a lot longer. And, um, but actually I like the, the total control better as, you know, it's easier for me to, uh, it gives a little bit of um, control with the actual mouse than it just sliding. It doesn't slide as much, which I prefer that. So, first looking at the comfort. This is a gel infused pad and this one is also very soft it says improved memory foam wrist I know this is gel infused but this one says it's memory foam but to be honest they feel exactly the same like if this was gel I wonder really what it is but it's really nice and the on this one right here look I can even push it this is the rubber padding support whatever you want to call it so it's gel infused but just the top part then it hits to this rubber part this one doesn't have anything it's like really like right at the bottom so there's a lot more foam a lot for more gel on this one right away this one wins and beats that in comfort right away I could feel it awesome awesome razor very good improvement this already beats this one on the comfort but this is a very comfortable pad also very comfortable I will still continue to use this on my second computer but this is the one I'm going to be using for this new computer that I have right here now speaking of the traction control they're the same they feel the same and I believe because this is newer right this is over five years and this is just recently just got it so it's a little bit more slidey on this one because I believe it's brand new compared to this one you can see same amount of uh, pressure on the fingers see how it slides more and this one less so I believe that because it's you know glossy and new and it hasn't been used that's why it's sliding this has been used for five years actually this has only been used for a year at this surface the other one the speed one I've used for four years uh, to be honest but 
this is uh, more control and this is less control but I do like it feels like it's the in between the speed and the control with the new Vespola 2 compared to the either speed or control and the Vespola 1 so but it's still this one wins this one wins compared to uh, the traction and it just, you could see it's it's bigger on this one it's more square it's square and uniform this is has this cutouts and stuff I didn't really care for but maybe that's the old razor now the new razor is trying to go for sleek stealthy elegant design simple awesome easy to use I like that also this is rubber just like this you see how this small part of rubber so it doesn't move this one has it bigger on each side so point for this one this one is already winning in that category also and if we flip it over to the cloth version wow very nice you get even more traction compared to the control one less slidey and I know it'll do wonders for your bottom of the mouse it won't you know use up as much and waste as much compared to the other ones uh, it looks like it's gonna be really the it's gonna catch a lot of dirt lint all that stuff so you got to make sure you make sure you take care of that and clean it but Wow right away right away the Vespola 2 beats the Vespola 1 in every single category in the way it's bigger the memory foam the cloth and the traction again it is newer so it's gonna be a little bit more slippery but wow very happy it beats it with more rubber simple design you can't go wrong if you had the Vespola 1 upgrade to the Vespola 2 there is a big difference now it is $39.99 right now on Amazon so just be aware of that but honestly I think it's worth it and if you know if you're going for a new clean sleek design this is the way to go you won't go wrong you can't go wrong with this wrist pad you will enjoy it and my other wrist pads that I reviewed you could also swap it out you could swap out if you don't want to use this wrist pad it doesn't move whatsoever well, a little bit maybe then you can put your razor wrist pad right here or the glorious wrist pad right there very cool also speaking to the design of this area yes I would have preferred this to be all you can see I would have preferred that to be all one piece because that could rip as you can see this should have been one whole piece so it's it's gonna last a lot longer but that only really affects people who actually move their their placements a lot I mean once you have it settled you're not gonna have a problem it's not gonna affect anything and I think they did that just because they wanted the rubber sides to actually grip on the floor I could see that let's see here yeah they did that so the rubber okay, let me put it this way they did that so the rubber could give you more traction with the floor with the, the bottom of the desk with the desk they did that so they did the cutout so they can have more traction with your desk but still I wish I would have preferred it to be all one just to give it more stability and more longevity so it could last longer and doesn't rip some people were saying that it ripped on their reviews uh, but I won't have it I won't be moving it as much and uh, the Goliath review will be coming up soon and this will be on the Goliath so it's gonna be on a, on a cloth but it's gonna be fun to try both of them out and see which one after I review all my products after I review all the unboxing of all the razor products I will do a final video with all the products in front on the camera and review everything as a whole uh, that would be great to see how everything works together how everything looks together and to see if putting this on a cloth or it's better to leave it on the table and all those things so if you found this video helpful please leave a like share comment and subscribe for more